Кам да ги играем 7 на 7. Тренер покупує піки далеко. Грає в одному. Такл чи шаржа. Заводничка мушу ще положиш на землі, решта гра. Shot. National women's team. Uh, you played in London, then in Amsterdam. In London, it was a little bit bad luck. Yeah. Uh, it, I think you don't. Injuries. Oh, so yeah. It, I think you don't want to talk about it. Not really. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but Amsterdam. Yeah, Amsterdam. Uh, we didn't make it. The Polish team always. The problem is either players or money. This time it was money. Uh, so bad luck for us. But you went there and you did great, second place. Yeah, we had, a, we had a, the final against New Zealand and it was a really exciting game. We had some back and forth with them and uh, we were really excited to get to play them again, right? It's always a big quality rugby every time we play them, so. Yeah, and you, you are now in the World Series, you're number three. Yeah, your, we, your we, goal uh, was fulfilled. Yeah, you know, we, we were one at the beginning, then dropped to seven. Yeah. And then we're back to three, so um, pretty, all, all our hard work is paying off, and uh, we're just going to keep pushing. Good, good. 
and in Moscow we have a group. I think you have New Zealand, yes? Yeah, New Zealand. Tunisia. Yeah, and, and Netherlands. Netherlands, yeah, that's what I, I could I felt like. Okay, so probably you, the biggest challenge will be with the New, with New Zealand. Uh, uh, yeah, they're going to be a challenge, but I think perfect. Netherlands will definitely give us a run for our money. Um, last time we actually played them, I think it was in Houston, and they beat us 17 nothing. Oh, so uh, we can't overlook overlook yeah. them and. Uh, even Tunisia, who knows what they got? <laughs> yeah, you never know. Uh, Poland in uh, the national uh, in the European Championships two weeks ago in Prague, mm -hmm. they were starting from the last place yeah. in Division A. They were the 12th, and they finished fourth. See, anything and they can could, happen. They could be the second, really, if they could. If the the Sunday, the second day, would be better for them. Yeah. Uh, so you never know. Yeah, the, the rankings, I think, in sevens doesn't really matter because it just yeah. depends on who shows up that that day to play and whoever wins the tournament, like, it, it doesn't really matter in the standings. Yeah, true. true. And you didn't have uh, Ashley Stacy. Yeah, we didn't we didn't have her uh, and we didn't have Jis Lane. Mm -hmm. uh, those are kind of two of our star players. <laughs> yeah. um, but, you know, it gave other uh, chances for younger girls to step up, and they did, and the fact that we were able to uh, compete with New Zealand. Um, with, it was uh, close, it was 33 to 24. At one point we were winning. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, I look up the clock and I was oh, like, lovely. oh my gosh, we're winning. <laughs> <laughs> um, just because, you know, I really rate that team, and we got a good coaching staff and a lot of talented athletes, world-class athletes, so. Um, and, you know, I, I, I think they rate us too. And you're enjoying Sydney now again. Yeah, it's a lot warmer this time. Yes, yes, we brought the weather again. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, the, the beach, we were at the beach the other day. And it was really nice. Yeah. Trying to get the tan. Well, it doesn't need we to. We got no sun in uh, Canada. Really? Not really. No way. Maybe a month it'll come out. It's going to be cold. <laughs> come on, see. No, 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 no. But okay, let's talk about. I would like to talk about. This. We have a huge fan of our best player. Well, besides these two, uh, she lives in England now, and she's uh, she's all she always flies for our tournaments. And she was very excited to get us coming to you today. And she emailed me yesterday like ten questions. For you. Uh, I have them all on the paper. Now. Somewhere there. <laughs> uh, so, something from my memory. Uh, she would like to know what makes uh, a good leader in a team. Do you know that? Oh, uh, are you the leader? Maybe. Of, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm uh, still trying to kind of figure that out. It's, I think, one who uh, lets others lead is a good leader. Mm -hmm. You don't always have to have to lead, but you know when you let others lead. It's good leadership and obviously on field play as well. So um, you do, they do. Okay. And also the other question was about the coach. What makes a good coach? Because we think uh, our team has a really good coach, one of the best in the country. Yeah. Uh, but I observed your coach today on two training sessions mm -hmm. and his behavior is completely different. Our coach is like. Um, Full of passion, but like passion, uh, he gives himself on the training. He swears a lot, he yells at us. Uh, he can say good things, but then we screw up everything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's like uh, very different from your coach. He's looking, he's giving tips, what to do. He's very calm. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you were to say that. To anyone on our team, I think they disagree. He's much like your coach, except you guys never got to see that side of him. Uh. Um, but why he's so good is because he keeps us accountable and um, he always demands more from us. Oh, and um, his passion for the game and um, for this team is what drives us. So um, he's, they're probably very similar. They should get together and have oh. a beer. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I agree, but I'll attempt to speak English. Oh, see so I, I would have to be there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, another question would be, would be more for me. Uh, 
how many time, how many days a year do you spend with the national team? Uh, how many camps do you have? I spend every single day with them, at least eight hours a day. Um, even when we get Sundays off, we're hanging out because we're all centralized in Victoria. Um, we have the benefit to do so before centralization happened. Uh, we had camps just before the tours, um, so in 2011 that's the way it was, and um, we were just trying so, to. It's a new thing. It, this, the centralization we started in 2012, and so we're working out the kinks of it. Uh, but our skills and our decision making and um, being a better student of the game, um, the centralization has really helped that. So, um, and obviously the team cohesion with. Uh, uh, like the family aspect um, built. Yes, yes. Uh, I agree. The family aspect is right. We hang out together too. They rent a flat together. Yeah, <laughs> like we, uh, I live with two, like we all live together. Mm -hmm. um, there's some girls that there's four to a house or three or two. No yeah. one really lives alone. Um, and it's, it's good that way too because um, you can talk to them uh, about non rugby stuff as well. Yeah. And uh, you can separate it, which is nice. And you think that's very important if you want to build a good team, good atmosphere in that team? Yeah, I think you need to know your teammate inside out, really. Um, not only how they how they play on the field, but the way they deal with situations, right? So when you live with them, you get to learn lots about them and uh, have more of an understanding of them. So you connect better. Right, and you, and you build the trust, and I think trust is really important because if you don't trust somebody off the field, you're not going to trust them on the field. So. Yeah, true. Yeah. true. Okay, so uh, I figure out now that you don't work. Yes, you don't have I a, like used a, to. <laughs> you used to work, yeah. Yeah, I was a personal trainer, and um, the certification uh, is different in each province. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, I, I still do it, um, but I don't. Not in BC, and when I go back home, I have you know lifetime clients mm -hmm. um, that I'll call up. But um, basically, now this is the job. So you you don't have to work. You don't have to work. Uh, you have, I don't know scholarships, some kind of. Uh, you get uh, funding, funding. Um, but you don't you know you don't live without or uh, beyond your means, right? Like it's it's not that much, but it's enough to get you by to have you know pay for your rent. Being here um, centralized, they also pay for two two meals, breakfast and lunch. So you're only really covering gas and your rent and dinner, right? So yeah, that, that's our, that's helps. our dream to have that. Yeah. yeah, I think any team that has gets funding definitely benefits from it, and um, their whole program grows. Yeah, because you can commit yourself to the training. That's only, right. Only you, to the training. Really. Yeah. Right. You don't have to stress yes. about paying two yeah. grand for a tour, right, when yeah. it's going to be paid for, or um, other stresses, right, it's stressful enough getting up every day, being in a stressful environment. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Gosha, do you have any questions to Jen? No. <laughs> Alright, so thank you. Thank yeah. you. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck in your guys' uh